the best photography lens for Crofts Dog Show. It's that time of year, leading up to Crofts and you'll find it. Questions, what's the best lens to take to Crofts? I've never been to the Crofts Dog Show before and I want to take some photos. Now I've been to Crofts for about 30 odd years and over the years I've taken different lenses for different reasons. I show my dog when I go to Crofts, that's what Crofts is about for me. I photographed for the Kennel Club before, they're working gun dog tests, but I will not photograph at Crofts. I don't want to, just for a simple fact, I don't want to be stuck in, in the NEC for four days. I prefer outdoor dog photography. Now, if you have never been to Crofts, Crofts is about the green carpet, showing your dog on the green carpet. Okay, okay they have fly ball, Dancing with Dogs, Discover Dogs, Agility, and anything else, grooming competitions, they have all sorts there, but it is a dog show. And for me, the lenses I take are for the breed rings, which are smaller than what you'll see on the TV, the great big show ring, which is called the group, the group ring, as we would call it. But you will have all other activities throughout the day in there, your fly ball, agility, finals, and anything else. You might even want to see a famous person while you're at Crofts. There's all sorts. So, if you are not going for one particular thing, you need flexibility because you could go and look at the breed of dog you like and want a nice, you know, distance shot, but then you could be walking around the store and go, oh my God, it's so and so. I want a photo of a famous person. So you could do with the zoom lens, but the light in the NEC is awful. So you're going to need like a 2.8 aperture or lower, an F2 or even like a cheap 50mm lens, 1.4. That's dead handy. If you've got a 70 to 200mm lens of any make, whichever make it is, and it's 2.8, that is going to get you some lovely photos in there. You will find this in breeds. There will be somebody with a good camera in every breed, and they will take photos of the dogs. And you can either pay them or they'll let you use their photos. This particular lad, at the time, he had a 5D, I think it was a Mark 1, so full frame camera and the 70 to 200 mil Canon lens, 2.8. And these are the photos he got in the NEC, which are of me and my dogs. And he always said that he could do, because I had at the time 100, was it 100 to 400 mil Canon lens and he was going to borrow that, but because it was 5.6, he said he wasn't going to chance it. But he said he always felt like he needed a little bit more reach. But I have been with this. I've got on fine with that. The only problem when you're showing your dog, you're stuck with it. You're stuck with a big heavy camera. And when you go in the ring, you've got to give it to someone. And they don't always want to ha hold that camera. You can't leave it on the bench. So yeah, if I was going with no dog to watch the breed judging, that is fine. They might need a little bit more length, a 300, but you're going to want 2.8. What I've taken before as well is the 135mm f2. That, for me, is my dog show lens. It's light. I can stick that on the 6D. Which that is not the 6D. The 6D is videoing. The 6D is a full-frame Canon camera, which is light. And I can put the 135mm lens on. It will fit in a bag like that what will fit inside my show bag when I go in the ring, so I can hide it. And it takes amazing photos. I'll get a few photos of, what well, dogs and bitches by my dog. You know, I'm afraid that's how it works. Unless I'm gonna be paid to take everybody else's photos. For me, you, if you don't know anybody and you just wanna go and take some photos, I'm giving you, you the advice. You've got the 24 to 70, it's a 2.8 again. But you might not be able to get close enough with that for the breed judging. That'll be perfect around the stalls. You know, you never know what you might see. You walk through the stalls and then there'll be something going off. You can zoom out so you've got a wider shot with that. And again, it's 2.8. And then I have been, the last time I went to Crofts with my dog, he was in veteran. I went as light as possible because I used to take a cage, a bag, the dog, or more than one dog, so two cages, a camera, you're loaded up, two trips from the NEC car park into the NEC. I worn out before you even went in the ring. So yeah, the last time I went, I went with the Canon 6D and the 50mm lens. So it was even lighter. 
And all I did, because I know what settings to use in there, my friend who turned up, who's had some dogs off me before, said, we just take a few photos of Travis in the ring. And this is what she got. They're fine for what I wanted. Now, if you're not selling the photos, you just want something to turn out. As I said, something with a low F number. So you can deal with the light in there. The light's awful. And with the green carpet, hall one, for example, where we always are, the skylights in the roof. And what happens by lunchtime, it's always sunny because the same thing always happens every year. The sun shines and it comes in on that carpet and then green reflects up on the dogs. You end up with a green cast or green under the chins. So be, be aware of that one. Now then you can get your more relaxed shots, which again, you'll need a lens what you can get closer to the dogs. Because if you go at the weekend, you're going to be like this anyway with your camera. Guaranteed, because it's going to be so busy. But yeah, I set this picture up, photo of my dog, Bobby. I've got a feeling this was the 85 mil. Just cheap one, like this little 50 mil. Because see, I learnt my lesson. I've taken a big every camera to Crufts. And you try each year, try a different lens. Well, this year we're going to try this one, this year. But I'd already got the shot in me. I didn't know we were going to win. I had, a good, I had a good feeling he would win because the judge had given him the ticket, the dog CC, previously. And it was his last show and I thought, well, I'll take him and I'll take this lens because I want to get this shot if he wins. And he did win and I got the shot because he's normally sat in a cage, like I say, and I set the shot up. And at 85 mil, I wait for everyone to move out of the way. Got my shot, I put him back in, got the cage back up. I thought, well, no one can get my shot. And you probably won't get that shot because not, not many people put the rosettes there. They're going to put them higher up on the bench. But anyway, that's the dog show inside in the breed room. If you are going to try, uh, if you're into your fly ball, agility, and you want to go, and go, you want to go and photograph those in the special events ring, it'll be called, because there's a smaller best in show ring, smaller group ring, the special events ring, and stuff what goes off in the main ring, group ring, you're going to need that a focal length of about 300 or 400 mil. Now, who can afford a 400 mil 2.8 lens? And if you're wanting to get some kind of action shots, you're going to need 2.8 in that NEC. You really are. In those big rings. You could try and risk it with that. Especially in that group ring, that best in show ring. You need 300 or 400 mil. Definitely. Now, if you're wanting to sell your photos from Crufts, what you need to do is get a press pass. I mean, they don't just give them to anybody. I've had a press pass a few times. You have to apply for it. You need a photography website. Tick all these boxes. I got mine. And somebody said he didn't know how the hell I got that because it's so hard to get. So bear that one in mind. But once you've got your press pass, it is what it is. Press pass is for the media, for people who are working for magazines, working for well, advertising companies, anything. And that photo of Bobby, I specifically took it to, and I got the press pass, so like I could legally put it in stock photos. Because I was actually hoping that I'd put it in the news section, because you can upload, as well as your stock, you can upload to like, what well, as it happens, your news. And I put it in, but it, didn't, it never got used, and it's still there. But yeah, that was, that was the idea with that one, and the idea with the press pass. But yeah, once you've got a press pass, you can sort of legally sell them. Because when you enter Crofts, you have to tick a box with your, when you enter your dog to go to the show, you are signing, like normal, for all the normal rules, but at Crofts, you're signing that basically anyone could take a photo of your dog, and you might be on the telly and all the rest of it. You've already signed that. But yeah, you've already signed the form. So once you get that press pass as well, they've signed the form. You can take any photo you like because it's just a high profile show. They've got to be careful who can have hold of the photos, basically. So talking of selling your photos from Crufts, I just like to do things right. I've gone and got a press pass, so I'm legal. I've got my little thing on. There's so many people, like the lad who used to take the photos, I would just go and take the photos Stick them on Facebook, message me if you want to use them. Now, I'll tell you what the problem with that one is. I know someone, I like her, she's nice. But she also told me, one exhibitor owes her over three grand. 
photo is what she's put on Facebook. That they've taken off and put on their website. But, in the same way, you put them on Facebook, didn't you? So what do you expect? The simple solution to that is to put your photos in a gallery, online gallery, and share the gallery on Facebook. Your gallery can have a watermark on, it can have a price on, then it's, you know where you are, don't you? You don't need everyone to like your photos. Like, 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 take, 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 can't enter. Let's get a gallery. They can like the gallery on there. They're going to share the gallery and share your website at the same time. And pay you, get some money out of it. You don't need a press pass. You do, just to be legal, like I like to do things right. Or try to. You see them, 10 quid, 15 quid. That's nothing. I'd pay you double that, easy. You can come take my photo. I'll pay you. I'm not going this year. That's all you've got to do. Upload your photos into a smug mob gallery. Dead easy. I've got videos how to use it. I've got a discount off any new account as well. But yeah, that saves all that. Saves it all. And I bet the same thing happens in Flyball and all the rest of it. All the other dog activities what go off. I bet it does. Anyway. That's a little tip there if you want to make some money out of it. Because no one knows, they all know how to share the galleries from um, Crofts. The proper, the professional photographers what put their photos up. It's got, oh my God, here look, and they'll tag the person. There's a photo of you, there's a photo. Because everybody wants the photos from Crofts. They really do. Now, that's your lenses. Low light. And my other tips, not for your photography, well it is for photography. For going to cross, put some comfy shoes on and some take some headache tablets because that light does your head in after a bit, especially if you're photographing. Definitely, but yeah, it's a good day out. But I can't have four days in there when I was at college years ago. They used to make us go and I say, Crofts for me is about showing my dog. I hated going when it wasn't when I wasn't showing my dog. But if you've never been before, if you just want to go and see all the dogs, you will see every single breed of dog and discover dogs. You will. So yeah, take the camera. Yeah, 50 mil. 50 mil will do. It's fine. 